a falling star And you make a wish Ooh, just remember luck is no such thing One man succeeds while another man fails Why is it then you ask the stars up above The planets of light who controls your very soul From the beginning of birth Coming to you live from New York City, you're watching Astrology Numerology Now for Monday, August 19th, 2019. I'm your host, you already know. This is Z Starman, professional astrologer, numerologist, where every week at this time, live on Monday nights, we bring you the latest astrology news and information. And as I've always said, real astrology, real numerology, in real time. If you want to talk to me on live TV from anywhere in the world, give me a call right now. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. 212-757-1393. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Welcome to Astrology Numerology Now. This is your Astrology Numerology Show. This is your opportunity to talk astrology, to talk numerology. Wherever you are in the world, give me a call right now. But before we, they're calling already. My director, Dietrich, just came out here and told me the, the phones are lit up already. But we have to give you the latest news and information before we get to the phone calls. Now, the first thing we're doing this week on the 19th of August, 2019, we're saying goodbye to Leo season. This is the last week of Leo season. So happy birthday to all the Leos. There's the astrological symbol for Leo. The sun's mane or the, sun, the circle on the left is the head. The question mark on the back of it, that's the lion's mane. It's not a sperm cell. Somebody told me that it looks like a sperm cell, the symbol for Leo. But that is the symbol for Leo the lion. And I hope everybody with Leo birthdays had a great birthday. We've got a couple of planets in Leo as we speak right now. So there's a lot of Leo energy, but the energy is getting ready to shift. The energy is getting ready to move on to another part of the Zodiac. And this Friday at 3.49 a.m., the sun enters the constellation of Virgo. It's Virgo season, everybody. There's the symbol for Virgo. Now, hold it right there, Rhonda. Rhonda's in our control room. Now, Virgo is the virgin. And people have always asked me, what is it that Virgo is holding in her hand? You see most pictures of Virgo. What she's holding in her hand, actually, from what I've heard, is a stalk of wheat. And in wheat, wheat is nature's multivitamin. Vitamin A through Z can be found in zinc. So that's what Virgo, the virgin, meaning pure thoughts, pure mentality, pure thinking, but I know some Virgos who can be off the hook also. So that's what the symbol of Virgo is about, what she's holding in her hand. She's holding a flower. Now, as I have said in previous telecasts about the sign of Virgo, Virgo, along with Gemini, are the only two human signs of the zodiac. And they're both ruled by the planet Mercury. You got Taurus the bull, Leo the lion, Cancer the crab, uh, Pisces the fish, Aries the ram. But Gemini, along with Virgo, are the only two human signs of the zodiac. So it's sort of kind of hard for most Virgos or people with Virgo rising sign or Virgo moon sign to understand, and Gemini, because they're ruled by the same planet, Mercury. 
I'd like to say Mercury, uh, Gemini, and Virgo, since they're the only two human signs, they are like stepbrother and stepsister. They, they have the same daddy, which is Mercury, but they're ruling planet, or but they have different mamas, so to speak. Gemini's mama is the spring, and Virgo's mama is the summer. But Virgo and Gemini are human. So it's hard for most Gemini, it is hard for most Virgos to compete with other animals. <laughs> Like, like Taurus the bull, Capricorn the goat. Sort of kind of you have to be like Dr. Doolittle to understand uh, the Gemini mentality or you have to be like Dr. Doolittle to talk to the animals when you're a Gemini or Virgo. But it is Virgo season. It begins this Friday, the 23rd. And what we're looking at right now is the astrological symbol or the star formation that make up the sign of Virgo. We have some more information in Virgo. We can move to the next one. And again, Virgo season. And from a Native American astrology point of view, Virgo represents the bear. You know, bears, you know, they're very, they go about their business, which is Virgos do. They take care of business a lot. So it's Virgo season from August 23rd to September 23rd, 2019 at 3.49 a.m. We start the fall equinox. So there's, it's a lot of Virgo energy and we're gonna talk more about the energy or the planets that are moving into the sign of Virgo. But first we have a phone call. Caller, you're on live television with Z Starman. Hello, caller. Hi, Z Starman. This is he. Hi, this is Sharon. Who is this? Sharon. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Good to hear from you. Yeah, yeah. I haven't um, talked to you in quite a while. I know. How can we help you tonight? Well, um, I guess with the current transit, can you let me know what I should be focusing on? Okay, tell everybody your birthday. March 17th, Pisces Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Badge Rising. How could I not remember that? <laughs> <laughs> well, the big thing uh, is that we have a lot of planets that are getting ready to move into the sign of Virgo, which is opposite. Your Pisces planet, Sharon, has a uh -huh. couple of planets in the sign of Pisces, and especially the early stages of Pisces. Um, you have Mercury in Pisces. Mercury is how you think in astrology, and Jupiter's in the Pisces. So all that's sort of kind of going to be tested within the next week or so with the shift of planets being in the sign of Virgo. So you're going to be experiencing that Virgo opposition to your Pisces planet. So don't get stressed out. Don't ask your boss for a day off of work. <laughs> don't ask for any <laughs> days off or go home early or anything like that because Virgo is about work. And so it's a lot of work energy. I, I, if I remember correctly, your Pisces planets are in your third house. Yes. They're in your third house. So with the opposition, Virgo opposition, we're going to have Mercury in Virgo. We're going to talk about that later on in the show. We're going to have Mercury in Virgo. We're going to have Venus in Virgo in a couple of days. We're going to have Mars. Is, is, it's already in Virgo. So the and opposition. And Venus, I think, is shifting and, into Virgo. And Venus is in Virgo also. So it's an opposition to your Pisces planets, but to increase your higher mind, higher knowledge, to increase spirituality because the opposition is in your ninth house. Mm -hmm. So you're sort of kind of coming off a ninth house relationship with your trip overseas. And mm -hmm. I know you're still vibing off of that, but it's not only trips overseas, but it's time for you to make a global connection not just in New York, not just in Portugal or Havana or whatever. It's time with the opposition of Mercury 
and Jupiter, where you have Mercury conjunct Jupiter together, but this stellium of planets in Virgo, it's time to, to sort of kind of solidify your global place in the world right now. And, and you more than anyone I know has been doing that over the last couple of years. Now, of course, this is a master number 20. Uh, let's see, let me, let me just make sure of that. 11, 11 plus 12, that's uh, 23. So this is a five personal year for you from a mm -hmm. numerology point of view. Don't be afraid to make changes. R really accept changes and give some lucky guy out there a chance. <laughs> I'm trying to make changes, mostly with work. With work? But you're, yeah. you're starting your own business now. You're starting your own business. One day we're going to have Sharon on the show, and she's great when it comes to interpreting dreams and dream interpretation. She's known as the dream lady. Tell everybody what your, uh, your business is. <laughs> Tell them who I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> I'm in the process of creating herbal uh, dream pillows for okay. those people that are having difficulty sleeping. And it also helps people to um, relax, so that way they can also um, dream better, have an easier time of dreaming. So you can find me at Sweet Dreams Healing Sweet. on Facebook and Instagram. Look up Sharon at Sweet Dreams Healing on Facebook or, or Instagram also? Yeah. And she, she's the one that you can talk to about dreams and what you need to have peaceful sleep, peaceful rest and all that kind of stuff. But when you want to talk astrology and numerology, you have to talk to Z Star Man. Sharon, I You have are to, the man. <laughs> I, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk soon, my dear. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. That's Sharon, the dream lady, calling into astrology, numerology now. And now it's your turn. It's your time to call in also. 212-757 one three nine three is the number to call. I want to say hello to all my viewers who are watching Astrology Numerology now in Brooklyn, New York City. BK all day, all night too. Welcome to Astrology Numerology now, Brooklyn. We come on the air Sunday nights from seven p.m. to seven thirty p.m. and we're also back on the air a couple of hours later from twelve thirty a.m to 1 a.m. if you missed any part of the show. Brooklyn, BK all day and all night too. Thank you for watching Astrology Numerology Now. Now, if you want to call the show, don't be scared. I know you're watching this show in Maryland. I know you're watching this show in Philadelphia, in Houston, Texas, in Los Angeles, California, by tuning in to www.mnn.org. Call me up, don't be shy, say hi. I know you're watching this show in Manhattan, in Harlem, on the Upper East Side, on the Lower East Side, on the Upper West Side. If you're watching on channel 1993 High Definition, give me a call right now, 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Now, since the name of the show is Astrology Numerology Now, August 2000. 19 from a numerology point of view is a number two universal month. It's a number two universal month. We take the number eight. August is the eighth month. We add it on to 2019 and we get the number 20. Two plus zero equals two. And the number two is about bringing people together. It's about peace, love, and harmony. It's about making business connections because one plus one equals two. It also favors people who are born on the second of the month, the 11th of the month, one plus one equals two, the 20th, two plus zero is two, and the 29th, two plus nine equals 11, and one plus one equals two, especially on the 29th. So if you're born on the 29th of the month, like a couple of my friends are, this is a special month for you. Make it happen, especially if you're born, let's say, uh, a Gemini, May 29th. I'm thinking of one uh, friend of mine. Make it happen. This is your month to make 
things happen. And this is your time to call the show right now. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. I want to say hello to all the astrology groups on Facebook, Society of Indigenous Astrologers, Association of Professional Astrologers, the International Society of Black Astrologers, and Aligned Astrology, one of the new astrology groups on Facebook. They're doing really well. Welcome to Astrology Numerology Now. 212-757-1393 is the number to call. Now, what I was talking about earlier about the shift in planets. What is this shift going on? There's a lot of planets moving from Leo into the sign of Virgo. And Mars is currently, as we speak, in the sign of Virgo. Mars is in the sign of Virgo. There's Mars on the screen, that symbol on, in red, that's the symbol for Mars. And I always wonder why do Virgo women have long hair. You always see Virgo women, Virgo the Virgin with this long flowing hair. So Mars is in the sign of Virgo. Mars is about energy and action and it's going to be in the sign of Virgo until October 3rd. So Mars stays in the sign of Virgo for at least six weeks. Wherever Virgo is in your chart, be careful of wars, fighting, arguments, disagreements. A lot of Virgo people, and this energy is focused on people who are Virgos, sun sign Virgos, moon sign Virgos, and along with Virgo rising signs. Try not to get into accidents and be accident prone, but this Virgo energy, especially with Mars in the sign of Virgo, it's there to help you rejuvenate, energize, and especially a lot of the people who were born in the 1960s, because that generation of people, they have Pluto and Virgo, along with um, Uranus in the sign of Virgo also. So it's a lot of work that has to be done with the shift of all these planets moving into the sign of Virgo. Also, as Sharon mentioned uh, during the last phone call, on August 21st, Venus will be moving into the sign of Virgo. The planet Venus, there it is. There's, see, astrology is about symbolism. We have that little drawing, artist drawing of Venus, but there's the astrological symbol of Venus. It sort of kind of looks like an ankh. It is the ankh, the tree of life, so to speak, or the creation of life, and then the lower symbol is Virgo. Now Virgo is in its fall. Virgo does not work well in the sign of Virgo. Virgo can be cricky, picky. Virgo can be just a horrible, she's horrible when she's in the sign of Virgo. She wants everything her way. She's in her fall. In astrology, we have different modalities, which is rulership, detriment, um, fall, or exaltation. Exaltation is the best place for a planet to be. The fall is sort of kind of like the worst place for a planet to be. So Venus is in the sign of Virgo, and Venus is going to be in Virgo until September 14th. So try not to be too picky, too critical, but instead of being picky and critical, it's about focusing on wherever the work you need to do is in your chart. If it's in your first house, if you're Virgo, there's a lot of work that you have to do on yourself. If you're a Sagittarius, these aspects are transiting through the top of your chart, through the 10th house. So there's a lot of work that, it's about work now. We're coming down on the first half of the zodiac when the sun enters the sign of Virgo. We got, again, Mars in Virgo. We got Venus in Virgo. It's a horrible place for Venus to be because she can be a real you-know-what when she's in the sign of Virgo. That's all the time we have for Astrology Numerology Now. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I'm wishing you peace, love, light, namaste. Constantly striving to escape from reality.
country. It's the blessed land. Mm -hmm. Whatever your sign may be.